So now I'm going to go through how to take girth measurements for the lower extremity. Tracking your patient's girth in the lower extremity is important when you're treating for edema and also important in measuring for a compression garment as your patient needs. This is an example of a girth measurement tracking chart developed by ARC Seminars and I'll be using the anatomical landmarks lined out here today to measure my patient's girth. So when you're looking at lower extremity girth, you want to begin measuring at the arch of the foot. You then measure the, what is called the Y of the foot, which is the widest part where the heel and uh, comes across the ankle diagonally. You're going to then measure at the ankle, trying to measure at the malleoli of the ankle when you can palpate. The next point is B1 which you can see here is the musculotendinous junction of the calf. You then move up to the calf, the widest portion right here. We're going to measure across the knee and our last measurements will be thigh one and thigh two. So I'm gonna go through and measure now so I can show you how it, you would be measuring with your patient. Beginning at the arch, you want to take your measuring tape across the top of the foot and measure like so at the arch. Oftentimes, your patients that are suffering with swelling will have what's known as a buffalo hump at the foot here, where they have a lot of puffy edema right at the dorsum. This is an important area to measure as it will both decrease rapidly with your treatment and you want to make sure that it is um, decreasing in order to fit comfortably into a compression garment. The next point we're measuring here is the Y. This is an important anatomical landmark in the measurement of edema, not because it changes much with treatment, more because this is where the seam of the compression garment will be. And if you are measuring your patient and this is too tight, the compression garment will be very uncomfortable when they walk, articulate their ankle, move around. So this is an important measurement to have correct before you order a compression garment for your client. Our next measurement is going to be at the ankle here. Try to palpate the malleoli and measure across like so. Palpating the malleoli is not always easy when your patient has diffuse swelling. Sometimes if you can't palpate them completely and you're worried about consistency in your measurements, what you can do is take your ankle measurement and then measure how far you, your measurement was taken, say from the floor or from the base of the foot. That way you can ensure consistency the next time you go to measure. Measuring the B1 is easier in some patients than others. As I mentioned, it's the musculotendinous junction of the calf here. We can see it clearly delineated in this leg, but again, with your patient with diffuse swelling, this can be harder to palpate. I often run my hand down the back of the calf until I feel that junction, and I measure from there. If your patient has diffuse swelling, once more, like above, you can take an approximate measurement around halfway up the leg and then measure how far that measurement was taken from the floor. And this will ensure consistency when you go to re-measure your patient. The calf measurement is next. This will be the widest part of the calf. Again, we are going to the widest part for several reasons both to show the extent of the edema that your patient has and because we want to make sure that the widest part is accommodated comfortably in a compression garment. Measuring across the knee, we want to go right between, uh, behind the, cu the popliteal fossa and over the patella of the knee. Our measurement will occur right here. Thigh one is approximately two inches above the knee, right where the patella stops. 
We'll measure right here. Your thigh two measurement is approximately halfway up the thigh. Although your patient may have swelling above this level, it is unlikely that your compression garment is going to be able to go higher than this level. And that's why we stop at thigh two. Again, approximately halfway up the thigh, but for consistency's sake, you can always mark how far it is from the patella in order to make sure that your measurements are always consistent. Measuring the girth of the lower extremity is going to be very important in the acute phase of your treatment in order to show how your treatment is affecting change with your patient and in order to get an idea of how your compression is working, how your manual drainage is working and when they're going to be suitable for what kind of garment. Look for our girth measurement tracking form at arcseminars.net and for more of our videos on how to measure edema, for edema girth measurements and other top tips for edema management.